What's up guys? Welcome back. Amazing RC. Brian here. Tamiya flatbed for the old Tamiya Grand Hauler. Working on Bag D this evening. And Bag D's got some really cool stuff in it. You're kind of finishing this thing up. Uh, it's got, obviously, the really nice wood. Okay. It's got the headache rack. Also has these really cool uprights. And there's ten of them. You got five on each side. And basically, these get bolted in. Bam, like this. Boom, boom, boom. One, two, three, four, five. And then they get these really pretty chains. Boom, big old. I mean, it's got metal hooks in it and all kinds of stuff. And basically what these chains are for is it'll kind of hang on the uprights like this. And what that does is if you want to have a stack of logs or uh, a big PVC pipe or an airplane wing or whatever, it's just, you know, something that's just going to kind of fall off, you can chain this thing down and that's what these really cool uprights are for well they kind of posed an issue i feel like it's an issue because you're kind of baked into the uprights if you install them now i'm sure there's a way to gingerly take all this apart and you know because remember all this wood is getting two side sticky tape down tammy a sticky tape most stickiest thing on earth you know this is going to go crossways boom one two three four five six seven all the way up you know however many in there and these get pressed down then these side rails they don't come off they just get loosened up and they get smashed in so that everything's all nice and tight well that's a very permanent thing like i said i'm sure there's a way to take three hours and maybe try to finagle one of these arms off the side and and hope that you don't you know uh, cross thread your bolt when you go back through because remember this is all glued down you can't see anything inside well i didn't like that because there's there's two different ways that you're going to want to show this trailer i know i will you're going to want to have the uprights on like it's supposed to be boom all the way down big logs big you know airplane wing or no uprights at all no chains in a vehicle bam thank you gary this is another way that you want it. You drive it off, drive it back on, whatever. But you want to have this option. And you don't want these little dinky, you know, you know, uprights on here with no chains. You don't even just want the uprights on there. You try to drive this thing off and you hit one of these back uprights. I mean, it is, this is one of the few plastic parts on this thing. It's just going to snap it right off. So, I wanted to try to figure out a way that I could easily install and uninstall these uprights anytime i wanted to and uh without taking you know any of this stuff apart because i mean there's there's a bunch of i mean basically you're bolting this in underneath all this wood you've got bolts on the side of these two rails and uh you know the bolts are trapped in there however if you cross threaded or do anything funky in there you i mean lack of a better word you're screwed and you're going to mess something up with your really pretty trailer. And I'm not willing to do that. And I'd like to save some time. You know, I'd like to be able to do this pretty quick. And I figured out a way. A while back, probably just a few months ago. So some of you guys are going to have one of these and some of you guys aren't. Because I didn't for forever. But I went and got this little tap set. You know, got this at my local hardware store. And I actually got it originally to tap tiny screws for my Hot Wheels. My custom Hot Wheels cars. So that I could actually pull the bottom on and off. I could sign the inside of it when I was done. And, uh, you know, it was all, you could take it apart. Uh, it came with a bunch of other sizes that I really never thought I would use until today. So... And I'm going to have a, another video with a complete how-to because I'll have all the sizes on it and everything. I just, I don't have time to do it tonight. I actually don't even have time to do the rest of these tonight, but I did do one. And just to show you how awesome this is, now instead of taking all this apart or doing anything crazy, you just snap, snap your little upright on. And this is all minus the tap. You know, some of you guys are going to have a tap set. Some of you guys won't. But minus the tap set itself everything else you guys have these are the larger screws you get with all your traxxas trucks and not like i said i'll have sizes for this later there's a the traxxas set but i mean bam this is just gonna go right in there it is and it bolts right on it there's room inside because you just have your your wood on there but done boom one two three four five to ten 
chains on, little metal hooks, are they already? You're good to go. Now you've got that trailer. You want to come home and hit a battery or two and, and go back out. You know, you got something going on in town and you want to show off, you know, two Volkswagen bugs up here. You can just take these right off, put them in a Tupperware somewhere and you're good to go. I, I was not scared to tap this at all. To be honest with you, I watched Bob at Hobby Concepts tap a bunch of his grand hauler, the rails underneath. That's how he does his ground effect lighting. He actually, you know, hits, uh, it's something, he does something where he actually tapped holes into the chassis of the grand hauler. I don't know if it was for lighting or what, but it was a really thin piece of metal. And I thought, well, man, if he can do it there, I'm sure I can do it here. So I only have done one. Uh, I'll probably do a couple more, but I got something I got to do later on this evening. So I'm probably going to hit this video up and just show you guys kind of the idea of what I got. And then here in the next video or two, I'm going to go ahead with a full how-to, the exact screws that you need, the exact size tap, the size that you need, because these holes need to be a little bit bigger, the ones on the upright, so that they'll, you know, you can actually slip a screw in and out of them, because it's a larger screw. And here's the other cool part. It's not even like some gigantic hole. You almost can't even tell the difference between the stock hole and the hole that I made. It's not that much bigger. So, oh, we've retracted. Oh, we've retracted. I love this thing. If you can't tell, I mean, tapping a hole in here has got me all juiced up. Guys, I'm going to get the rest of this done. Uh, I'll probably have a bag D video before my complete how-to on how to do this because I want to also be able to have it done and, and everything's installed. And now I don't have a problem with two sides sticky taping all my wood down. Totally fine with that. It can be as permanent as it wants to. But I'd like to have both versions so that I can show them on the video. So guys, hope everybody's having a really good weekend. It's Brian, amazing RC. Got the old Tammy flatbed action going on. Cool upright change. See you guys soon with another cool video.